Welcome to Car Sales Talk 101, where it's all about life in the car business. Telling you like it is. Here's the man with the plan, Terry Cameron. Let's get started. Welcome back to Car Sales Talk 101. I'm Terry Cameron. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. This week, we're going to talk about, well, actually what a a salesperson asked me. I've had several requests about this to describe what I think is a great salesperson. And the more I thought about it, I thought, who cares about a great salesperson? We all know who the great salespeople are. They're the ones that are selling 40, 50, 60, up to 100 cars every single month. But let's focus on being a good salesperson. And if you're a manager, I'm sure that's what you would like to have, a full team of good salespeople. Now, what is a good salesperson? I'm going to, I actually, I was going to do some research on this. Then I realized that that's not what my listeners want. They don't want me to do the research. This is this is Car Sales Talk 101, life in the car business. So I'm going to give you what I think is a good salesperson based on my 30 years in the car business. And it may not be right, and I may upset some people, and, and but maybe I might light, some fi- light a fire under some people also. So let's talk about being a good salesperson. And there's nothing wrong with with just being a good salesperson. First of all, I have to tell you what I think, at least in my neck of the woods, what I consider a good or a professional salesperson as far as wages are concerned. And that's $75,000 a year. Now, I'm in a military town, and and the cost of living here is not near what it is in the big city. So $75,000 puts you in the top 1% of the people in Central Texas. So that's a, you can make a really good living on 75000 But if you can make 75000 it's only a little bit of an adjustment to break the six-figure um, income barrier. And, and, man, when I was growing up in the, in the projects, I would have never even guessed I could make anywhere near six figures, let alone blow it out of the water and get into the low uh, um, 200s. So let's talk about my opinion and and what I think a good salesperson is. The very first thing that I always talk about to brand new salespeople is enthusiasm. A good salesperson is enthusiastic. You have to like what you're doing. You really have to. And you have to like talking to people. I said it time and time again that this is not the car business any longer. This is this is the people business. And people like talking to people that are excited and enthusiastic about what they're doing. So number one, a good salesperson has to be enthusiastic. I think it was Zig Ziglar who said, when, when your customer is just as enthusiastic as you are, that's when the sale is made. And you know what? Enthusiasm carries all the way on into the future sales and, and getting referrals, repeat customers, things like that. You also have to have a good attitude. And I listened to uh, Dave Anderson uh, on uh, the Game Changer Life. It's a, it's a really good podcast, so maybe you, you might want to listen to that, Game Changer Life with Dave uh, uh, Anderson. He talks a lot about attitude, you know, and you get to choose the attitude you have. You know, when you get to work, you cannot let anybody else screw up your mood. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's up to you to do that. I mean, you can you can get... Uh, get yourself in a good mood just by listening and watching and thinking and, and reading something positive. Don't let somebody else occupy that real estate in your brain that's going to give you a bad attitude. It just doesn't work. So a positive mental attitude and an enthusiasm goes a long way in becoming a good salesperson en route to a great salesperson. Also, a good salesperson has good habits good daily habits. You know, they're punctual. They're on time. And when I mean on time, they, I don't mean they walk in right when the buzzer's getting ready to sound. They're there 10, 15, 20 minutes before they're supposed to be. It's kind of funny. I got to work uh, one morning, I guess it was a few months ago, and one of the listeners uh, out of uh, Florida called me. I guess it was close to 730 in the morning, and I answered the phone. And the first thing he did was laugh and saying, I knew you'd be there. You're old school. Old school people are always there a little bit earlier. 
So that was kind of uh, 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 funny to get that. But you need to be to work on time. And again, on time means before your shift starts. If your shift starts at 8, 8, 8 o'clock or 8.30, then that means you're ready to go at 8 o'clock or 8.30. So that means you got to get there a little bit earlier and get ready, even if it means to get, have that cup of coffee and get in the right frame of mind. So a good salesperson has a good attitude, is enthusiastic, and is, has good habits. They're punctual, and then they're organized. They, they have planned activities throughout the day. They don't come to work to wait. They don't come to work to wing it. They have planned activities. Now, when I was on the sales floor, one thing that I learned was there are certain things that have to be done every day. You know, and those, certain, those things are, are uh, follow-up, mail-outs prospecting, everything that I need to do to, to generate sales. And I would not let anybody stop me from doing that. Of course, maybe the general manager in the dealership says, hey, we're having a barbecue, get in the conference room, and we are going to go at it. You know, they run the place. I have to listen to those guys. But nobody else is going to stop me from doing my job. I was organized. I had to make my phone calls. I had to follow up. I had to, Now, of course, we didn't have email at the time. It's so much easier to follow up now because you can follow up with text. You can follow up with uh, email. And some people are still afraid to use the phone. But there's too many, other, too many ways to do this stuff. So, again, a good salesperson, good attitude, enthusiastic. They have good habits such as being to work on time. And they're organized. They're also appointment-based. Man, when you get to this point, you're just one step away from being a great salesperson. Appointment-based selling is the way to go. In other words, people come in and ask you or ask for you by your name. The only way that's going to happen, though, is if you've, you do the other things that we were just talking about, being organized and doing your planned activities, your prospecting, your follow-up, and also asking for referrals. A good salesperson also stays out of the huddle. They're not in that research and development group out there on the lot talking about everything and anything that has nothing to do with selling a car. As a matter of fact, if it's anything about the car business, it's negative. It has to, they're, they're talking about how the sales manager this, the used car manager that, the interest rates this, the markets that. They're not talking about selling a car and doing something positive. So stay out of that huddle. I've watched time and time where, again, where a good salesperson would actually set those people up. He'd show them a YouTube video, get them in, in talking about that, and he was out there on the lot grabbing that next customer. So you got to stay out of that huddle. You think about what the customer thinks when they're pulling on the lot and they see you in that huddle. A good salesperson stays on the phone. They're deep into their CRM. They're making their phone calls. They're following up. They're doing that on a regular basis. They practice, they do role plays, they never think that they know too much. I guess the best salesperson that has ever worked for me, or let's say with me, he sold every single month 40 cars. Now, I remember this because a 40-car salesperson at the dealership at that time got a brand new Rolex. And he, I don't know how many he got that year, but he got, he got several of them. But every time I penciled a deal for him, he would turn the pencil around and role play with me before he went out there. Now he sells 40 cars a month, but every single time he turned around and role play with me because he wanted to make sure he was ready. He had his game face on and he was ready to go out and sell cars. So you've got to do that. I, I role play with my wife for years to the point to where she got so good at it that she was selling me things. I had to buy her dresses. I had to buy her uh, new washing machine. I had to do whatever she asked because she used the, the, the tactics or the skills that I learned by role-playing with her against me. A good salesperson always greets a customer professionally. And a good salesperson doesn't wait for them to get out of the car and walk in the, to the showroom. Now, they don't run up there and open the door for them, but they're out there waiting for the customer. Because once the customer is on your lot, they're in your store. So a good salesperson greets them properly. Welcome to ABC Motors. My name is Terry and you are? Wow, what a beautiful day to be looking at cars today, isn't it? Now we got their head on the hinge and they're saying yes. So what type of vehicle are you here to drive today? A car truck or SUV? And I don't care what you say, most salespeople do not greet customers that way. It's more like, how can I help you? Are you here to see anybody? That's what the customers expect. And as soon as you start sounding like every other salesperson, 
You're just like every other salesperson. So a salesperson greets the customer promptly and professionally. A good salesperson never pre-qualifies a customer based on the way they look. And they give everyone 100% of the process 100% of the time, even if they know that they'll be wasting their time. What's the worst that can happen? They can't buy a car and you just got better at your job. That's the worst that could happen. Okay, so a salesperson has, has a good daily habits. They're punctual. They're organized. They have a good attitude. They're, they're enthusiastic. They stay out of the huddle. They're on the phone all the time in their CRM all the time. They practice, drill, rehearse. They do a lot of role playing and they never think they know too much. And then they also greet customers promptly and professionally. They never pre-qualify their customers and they give everyone 100%. A good salesperson that's in route to being a great salesperson also masters all the steps to the sale. Now, come on, let's face it. How many steps are there? The greeting, you have to learn how to build rapport. You have to uh, uh, get, some, get some more information from them by finding out their hot buttons, what they're buying the car for, who's the car going to be for. They're, they have to do a presentation. They have to do a demonstration. And everybody wants to talk about the negotiations. But if you've done those other steps, if you've mastered those other steps, the close was already done. The customer closed themselves. So a good salesperson masters those few steps to the sale. A good salesperson, again, follows up and they do a great delivery. The last thing a customer should hear is thank you for doing business with us. Oh, and by the way, who's the next person that you think that is going to be in the market to, that I could talk to about buying a car? A good salesperson always or also looks the part. They're dressed clean. Their shoes are shine. They got a belt on. Their, their pants and shirt are pressed. Their hair is... is uh, Groomed. Now, I know that's hard right now because right here in Central Texas with the coronavirus going on, the barber shops are closed. So, yeah, we're starting to look a little wild and it's starting to look a little bit like Woodstock here. But, hey, we're having fun with it. It's amazing what's going on in the world right now. Again, car business in Central Texas is essential. Us and liquor stores. I know. Makes sense to me, too. Now is the time. Remember, if it's slow or you're stuck at home, now is the time to start working on the things that we just talked about when it comes to being a good salesperson. When you get to being a good salesperson, it's just a little bit of fine-tuning to get you to that great salesperson level. So, guys, I really want you to listen to this and listen to it again. I'm giving this to you from the heart, and it's something that I see all the time. And it truly is. When I, when I talk about the car business and how good it's been to me and how good it, be, it can be for you, really, the sky is the limit. Have a good one, and I'll see you next week. Thank you for listening to this week's episode. Please rate it and write a review on Apple Podcast. We appreciate your valuable feedback. You can email Terry at 10minutesalestalk at hot.rr.com. And don't forget to share the show with a friend. 